Hello world, I hope you enjoyed that intro. That was the first time I've showed it in a video before. In the previous video, I showed off a project called the Sherlock Project, and that's where it finds usernames on all the most popular social media sites. So you can use it to one, find yourself and all the profiles that you or somebody may have um, made one for you, or two, if you're being harassed or something, you can find that person's user name across the social media. And you can watch that video by clicking here. But it was the first time, uh, at least on my channel, where I showed a program on the command line. So it's a command line program. And usually all the programs I've showed so far on my channel have been right here on the um, PyCharm. And you just run the... Uh, program and it's either a console or a small tkinter GUI but um, that was the first command line program and some viewers asked me how can they make their own command line programs because the only one we've really seen so far is maybe the pip install which we use to install uh, external Python libraries and sometimes we use git command lines for uh, projects for like Raspberry Pi and so um, I just want to do a quick video on how to make your own command line program. And so let's check that out. But first, welcome to the 181st video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. Please consider subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and leaving me a comment if you enjoyed this video. This is the second video in my Python Quickie playlist where you can watch, uh, where I'm just making videos on um, quick little projects that you can make yourself. And so we're going to run our own pro command line program now. Uh, it's important to know that the command line is very specific to where you have the command line installed. So what I mean by that is if you just go here, if you have a Windows terminal, and you either go on command prompt or type in CMD, um, if your Python project is not saved in this file right here, it will not run. And so if you uh, have made your own command line program in an IDE like PyCharm like I have, then you can quickly go here and see that the file is in C users notebook, PyCharm projects, and then I the, my master testing file is just called Jarvis. And so, um, you can go to there by opening File Explorer. And so I already have a shortcut here. So Users, Notebook, Python, Projects, Jarvis. And you can go into this search bar right here in File Explorer and just type CMD here. And it will open up right here with the correct extension. So now that we're in the correct uh, directory now, um, you just open up the name of the file by either typing python or python3 depending on how you've installed uh, python so mine's just going to be python so python and then the name of the file and then any arguments you have uh, put in there so i have one argument so let's type in hello All right, and it said, hello, how are you? Type something here. So I can do a, another command here. So um, we can do do something. I can't do that yet. Type something else. Um, open YouTube. All right, and it opens uh, YouTube to just a random channel. Oh, it's my channel, cool. Uh, if you can, please subscribe to my channel. And then we can just exit the program. All right. So to make your own program, we're going to import this library called arg parse. So argument parser. So that's A R G P A R S E. Now we imported web browser just so I can uh, do a cheesy open YouTube for you to go directly to my channel. And then we're going to do parser equals arg parse dot and then capital argument, capital parser. And then I just put a quick description, um, print hello, and that's if you um, 
you can label your arguments. Um, this could be anything you want. All right, and we're going to skip this for a second. Then you go to args equal parser dot parse underscore args and then call it. And then that's really it. Just those two will give you a command line program, but you won't be able to pass anything to it. So um, you would just type in Python or Python 3 command line dot pi and that's it. But from there you can start adding arguments. So what I did was in between these right here you put in parser dot add argument and then you name it. So just remember whatever you name it because you can use this later on in your programs. Um, I listed it as a type string. Uh, you don't have to do that but um, if you do a type string just know that when you pass the argument like you saw me it has to be in a string like this. And then um, if somebody types in help right um, it will say enter a command so they know which argument you need to add. And then after this right args equals parser dot parse args then from there you can use the command however you want or I'm sorry the argument however you want to. So really all you need is this to create your own command line program. But just to show it off I took this right here. This will be what variable it's stored in and it's command equals args dot command right which is right here. If I had named this first uh, name then this would be args dot first name like that and then I want it lowercase because that's how I'm using it in my uh, next part and then I made a function that said def analyze command passed it this command or the argument and then I just did standard uh, if elif else for what you saw previously so the very first thing is we analyze the command so it's going to pass it right from your argument your command line argument to here and send it to the analyze command that your functions go above and then while true it's just going to keep on asking over and over type something here and so I'm not going to go into the code here if you want to see more of that on how to basically create your own digital assistant you can watch one of my most popular videos by clicking here. So that's it. Uh, if you want to pause it here this is all you need right here to make your own command line program. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Goodbye world.